Okay guys, so today uh, I'm gonna be lowering the Honda Civic as you saw in the previous video. I got it painted. Right now I have it on the lift uh, just to cut some time. I have all four wheels off and I have, where is it at? Over there. I have the lowering kit that I bought from eBay. It was 38 bucks and here's what it looks like. Uh, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description of one of these. It has some O-rings, which I do not know what they're for. But as you can see, I already took one off because this is my first time installing some of these. And uh, I think I know I can do it. It's just I've never done it, but it should be fairly easy. I did it to my part, but I just did lowering springs. So the only difference should be that I would have to adjust those. But let me... Uh, Tell you guys what we're gonna do 12 millimeter for this bolt right here and that's off there we go and i'm gonna need an extension for this other one okay and i'm doing it this way so you guys can see i do not have a tripod but for the rest i will be doing it by myself Except I'll do one of the back ones so you guys can see that. So brake lines are off. Right now I'm gonna get the half inch impact. Where is it at? Where did I leave it? Oh, over here. I need the 17 mil. And these Hondas use a 10, 12, 17, 19. Well, that's usually what they use uh, 17 mil right here oh 15 never mind oh i'm gonna need both of my hands here okay so i just took off that bolt which is the one that holds the fork down to the lower control arm right now i'm gonna be taking off the bolt the bolt that connects the fork to the strut and it's pretty much off right there uh, I just need to get a hammer and bang it a little and it should come down and there you go it fell off now we need the 14 over here take these two uh, make sure not to lose it so I'm gonna grab it set it aside Whoop. grab the gun again and it will fall right now so be careful with your feet oh, don't fall don't fall okay okay so it did fall it's up right here i'm just gonna have to fiddle around with it so it falls down okay so i just took it off and we're gonna need some tools which everybody is scared of for some reason. I have seen so many memes about them, but I'm actually not scared about it. Where are they at? Oh, they're right here. So we're gonna need both of these to compress the spring and take it all apart. So let me set you guys on something and I'll be right back. Okay, so I apologize for all that noise. That was the heater. We're gonna take this off. Just basically start by putting these pieces of crap on. If they don't fit, hammer them in. That one's okay, so this is gonna take a while. Okay, so I fully compressed it. It took me a little while with this uh, wrench right here, but I also did use the uh, impact. As you can see right here, it's loose. So right now I'm just gonna take off this top bolt and hopefully it does come off. Okay. So yeah, it started spinning. So, okay, make sure to wrench with the actual wrench. 
I mean, the ratchet. Wait, the wrench. <laughs> Don't wrench with the ratchet. <laughs> if you guys understand that. Okay, so it took me a while, but I got it off. Freaking rusty gas bolts. So now you wanna try to keep everything in order so you don't have to start figuring stuff out later. So the nut stayed here. I'll take off the nut, the washer on top, and yeah, that whole thing will come off. I'll put the washer and the nut on top of that. And now I can take my socket out and take the whole spring out if it wants to come all the way here. Don't forget to take off the vice grips. And this part is the part that I don't get. So we got the sleeve, we got the spring, we got this, whatever the hell it is. Um, and I don't know what these O-rings are for. So uh, let me just try to figure this out. Here, let me come back. I'm gonna try to figure out what these O-rings are for and tell you guys. Okay, I didn't figure out what the hell these O-rings were for, but I put one down here, right here. I'm guessing it's just to stop rattling, I'm guessing. And uh, this little top hat thing, I did have to drill out because it didn't fit on the top. I don't know if that's where it's supposed to go, but I think that's where it's supposed to go. And that's just so the spring seats on the top properly. You see that? You see, you see? And then I'm guessing this is just gonna sit at the bottom like so. Or yeah, it should be like that. Uh, if you guys have any comments on if I did something wrong or anything like that, just let me know in the comment section. Uh, right now I'm just gonna do the reverse what I did to take it off. I am gonna try to preset it a little bit. Um, I have no idea what these numbers are or what measurement they are, but I'm gonna put them in the 25. Right, right, right there. So I'm gonna bring the tool and lock it down right there. And then I'll see how it looks like when I drop it. And if not, then I'll just readjust it. This thing feels like junk, just saying. Okay, so this side is basically done. Uh, right now, I'm just gonna finish up the other side. Do it real quick. It should take me a little bit less and then uh, I'll take you along doing the other side. Okay, so for the rear ones, you're gonna have to open the trunk, uh, move off this uh, little carpet thing, whatever it is, and you have the two bolts for the top. In the bottom, I removed the one for the strut and the lower control arm and uh, whatever the hell the lower control arm to whatever this is. Uh, but the other side is actually rusty and I think the bolt is gonna snap. That's why I'm doing it on this side first. So right now the bolt is out. I'm gonna take out the two top bolts right now. There's one. Okay, so I just loosened it and yeah, I loosened it, so uh, hopefully it just drops down like that. So here we go. Oh. That worked too good. 
So yeah, I just wanted to show you how to take off the back piece. And from here, it's basically the same thing that you did to the front. Yeah, basically the same thing. So I'm not gonna show you taking all that stuff apart. Uh, but this is basically how you take it off from the back. And then as you saw, you did the front over there. So uh, once I'm done with both sides in the back, I'll bring you guys back for the final lowering. So uh, it was just as I thought, they both snapped. I'm thinking, I think these are welded on. So if not, I'll try to hammer them. If they don't come out, uh, I'll grind them off. That's the only thing I can think of. I don't know if that one's welded, but I don't know, I'll figure something out. This side is pretty much done. It took me like five minutes. That side is gonna take me, I don't know how long. So I better get working on it. Okay, so today is the next day. And yesterday I was trying to take out the bolts that were stuck in here. They actually snapped. I realized that they actually rust inside and then they don't want to come out. And as you can probably see, I drilled a hole right here to try to screw it out with those little things to take them out. And I also pressed them with the hydraulic press over here. Got kind of scared, that, that, that thing right there actually does scare me. And I couldn't take it out. So today I went to go get a new LCA from the junkyard. So I'll throw that in there and uh, we'll get it dropped. Okay, so as you guys saw, I got the last tire mounted on the wheel. And yes, I stole them off my car. Sad little car. Well, as soon as I sell this one, I'm gonna buy wheels for that, so not so sad. And I believe it's sitting on the jack right now so I'm gonna have to figure something out to take it out and then I'll come back to show you guys the real real low car so for right now this is how it looks like okay so I've been messing with the Civic for a while now uh, I don't know if this is my issue or the person who made the springs springs this issue uh, but it okay so I wasn't comfortable leaving how the car was riding so i took off both springs over here i raised it up and i took a look at the both springs and i don't know if you can tell but they're actually different this one is a little bit softer and a little bit thinner and this one's thicker and harder so i'm guessing this one's supposed to go in the front and this one's supposed to go in the this one's supposed to go in the back and the front so luckily this isn't as hard i took it part like in five minutes so uh i'm gonna Switch these around and then I'm going home. So this is the last update. That's our guy. Peace out guys.